Assault and Sanctuary by Ska Studios. That is the name of the game. Hey guys, I'm Andy. I'm Katie. And welcome back to Let's Play All the Games. I love that logo, Team Renegade Radio. So this is uh, Assault and Sanctuary. This just came out like two days ago. Um, I've played through a little bit of it, at least the parts we're going to show you off today. We just wanted to kind of show off what this is, because a lot of people don't realize what this is. Uh, this is an indie title, but it's pretty entertaining. Um, I like it. I, there's a few complaints I will lay against it as we go throughout. Uh, Katie is going into this blind. I'll be the judge of how entertaining this game is. <laughs> So Katie knows absolutely nothing about this, and part of the reason I'm going through this is to see how long it takes her to figure something out, but I'm not telling her what that thing is. So I'm going to start a new game here, and this is complaint one, by the we'll way. We'll see if I give a fuck. Also that. <laughs> she may not. Zero fucks may be given. We don't know. I may have all the fucks on this side of the couch. Anyway, press next. So, new game. Here's complaint one of the very few complaints I have with this game. Tiny fucking ass text. God, that pisses me off. I don't know why they always do that. Um, uh, yeah, sure, that's my that's my name. Don't wear it out. Uh, so let's make a little person here. Um, let's, uh, I don't know. Let's be a girl. Okay. Yeah, so this is just kind of a different character. Wait, that's, okay. <laughs> she didn't really She's yet. got bigger eyes. That's, okay. <laughs> but let's, uh, oh, wait. This is, looks terrible. <laughs> you know nothing about this yeah, yet. It looks bad. Like, I'm, I'm saying this looks bad. Oh. <laughs> let's see here. I uh, like the, the little dumpling head. Where yeah, at? that one. That one? Okay, let's make her bun Buns. head. Uh, you know what? If we're going to do that... Oh, hey, Wait, shit. give her a beard? I guess. Um, apparently, I uh, need to turn my phone down. Whoops. Uh, sorry. I forgot. Let me do that now. My new one has do not disturb mode. <laughs> can I? Uh, I, yes. Apparently yes, you, you can, can give her a beard. She could be the bearded lady. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, now I'm on board. <laughs> now suddenly Katie is back on board. Okay, they gotta be blue eyes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, class. This is very important. <clears throat> um, I don't know. It's, uh... Could be a paladin. Ooh, paladin is a big spiky mace thing. Let's try that. Well, let's look through the rest of them first. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so we have a thief. We have a chef. Uh, chef. With a giant uh, frying, frying pan. pan yeah. Uh, let's see. We have a cleric. We have a peasant, pauper, and a hunter with a whip. So, what do you think? Either the chef or the paladin. Um. I kind of dig the big frying pan, but... Let's go chef. Why not? Hell with it. Let's have some fun. <laughs> uh, effects. I do know one thing I need. So it doesn't tell you what any of these are or what they do. Red shards is healing, I know. Uh, stone cell sword I can pick up later. Uh, Amber idol, not sure what it does. I'm going with this grasping ring. I like the grasping ring. Yep. Okay, so let's venture forth and let's do the shit. So our character has been created. We are on a boat, motherfuckers. And here's our tiny-ass text intro. Good luck reading that. We're on a 48-inch TV, not far across the room from it, and tiny as fuck. Fucking hate that. God damn, it pisses me off. Every gen. Like, PS3, PS4, it's a thing. It's all right. It annoys me. It drives me nuts. Anyway, we're on a boat. Motherfuckers! All right, I, I'm cutting Andy off from making that reference. Forever, or just yeah. this? Oh. <laughs> Because <laughs> I made it now. Ah, I don't really care what this guy's saying. Um, so we were trying to transport somebody to end a war, and uh, oh shit, fucking ship ninjas on a boat, motherfuckers. Alright, I'm done with this playthrough. <laughs> Come on! I'll stop saying it. Let's get up the ladder here. Is there anything over here? Um, so this is one of those tutorial areas where, yeah, you're basically not gonna make it through, so don't worry about it too hard. Like, I'm not sure this stuff even matters. I don't know how far you can actually get yet. I might do okay. I have potatoes. Wait, is that your health bar? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what potatoes do. <laughs> I can throw potatoes at people. That has value. I'm making it further than I did the first time around, also the ship is uh, getting a little bloody. There we go. 
So the first time I did this, of course, I thought I failed miserably, and then I realized, oh wait, no, you're kind of supposed to die there. So not too big of a deal. It's a very lonely style game in terms of um, music, because you basically find yourself shipwrecked on this foggy, mysterious island. And now the game begins. The water looks okay. Yeah. Could be a little better. It's a little too shimmery. And, like, they're going for a very specific art style here, but... Let's talk to this asshole. Why, hello there. You're just a fleshy blood flotsam there. That's just the way I like them. Welcome to my island. I don't know what this guy's voice is. I'm assuming it should be that. So, this is where you pick, um... Let's go with yes. I didn't do this the last time. Uh... But this is where you pick kind of a deity you follow, which indicates some things that you get in the game. And I'm already a follower of these three in my main game, so I'm going to pick somebody else. Why, you may ask? Trophies. Let's go with the iron ones. Apparently I believe in no gods, because I'm a cook. I get a middle icon. Yay, I got trophies. Their bird tech's on point, though. What are those things you're passing up? Uh, I wasn't looking. Let me take it. Damn. Apparently my frying pan uh, needs some upgrade. Let me pick this up first. Sanctuary key. Okay. Uh, these are bottles. Uh, they kind of tell me a little bit about how to play the game. They fade in and out of reality. Um, interestingly <coughs> enough, they can be messages left by other players. I also have a roll here. And a block, although I don't really have a shield, so not much I could do there. Oop, let's see what else they're saying. Hey, <laughs> whoops! Don't read that. If the thing you wanted me to figure out is that this is a Dark Souls <laughs> ripoff, I figured that out like. 10 okay, ago. I was curious how long it'd take. This is more. This is side scroll souls. That's exactly what this is. And it's pretty entertaining. It has some, um, some misses from it. So, okay, since that's out there. Uh, you are, this is your first sanctuary, um, this is kind of where you'll do your leveling, leveling up and everything. You don't collect souls, you collect salt. And you can totally lose your salts, and have to go reclaim them. Why? I don't know, because salts. Is there anything up here? Because yeah. salt is kind of like souls. Yeah. And, oh, And they oh. want to rip that off as much as possible. And they did. Like, this is flat out side-scrolling Dark Souls, without question. That said, I have discovered, and if we get all the way to the first boss in this playthrough, which I'll just try to run up to him since we kind of know what's happening now, um, it actually is a little bit harder because you don't have those three dimensions of movement that you have in uh, regular Dark Souls. No, fuck you! Shit, shit. Kiss my ass. Eat a dick. Die. So, yeah, this is not doing much damage. Um, yeah, this is basically a soul stone. I'm gonna go ahead and pop one here. It heals a little bit over time. This is flat out an S. Uh, no. Where did, where did it go? Yes, this is it. That's a roll, apparently. Where's my... There... No? Shit. Did I get it? Oh, yeah, I know there's... What? I think this is it. Hardy roll. Yeah. Basically, you get an Estus flask, which is something from Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2. That's a refillable heal item. Basically, it's your healing potion. <clears throat> It's going with a pretty interesting art style. I like it, though. It's basically all zombies right now. God, this guy is not the character she's going with. Okay. Nope. 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 Okay. Let's use that Eskis to last. I got nothing. <laughs> Katie is completely not interested in this game whatsoever. Nope. Which is disappointing, because I gotta say it's pretty fun. I do enjoy it, but whatevs. So there's a lot of, uh, I'm skipping over a lot of stuff. There's a lot of items to be found, um, and they do various things. There's one or two things. If I can find one thing, I want to show it to you as well, just the upgrade, because this is basically just to show off the game, uh, what it is, what it does. God, I am doing so little damage. I kind of regret picking the chef. Also, I'm getting eaten. Fuck you. Stop eating me. Where? Um. Glitch much there, game? Okay, well... Imagine I, that. There's a glitch in this game. I just glitched through the world, apparently. Well, that's, uh, unexpected. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be solid all the way through. 
Nope. <laughs> Turns out there are some things wrong with it. <laughs> okay. So this is a sanctuary. It's kind of like a little mini save room. It's a little hidden if you don't know where to look for it. Thankfully, some kind asshole left a bottle there earlier. And I'm just going to keep going a little bit further because I want to get to the first boss and show you what that's like. He's right up here, so we don't have much further to go. I'm going to die horribly, just so you know. <clears throat> this guy's a fucker. The Sodden Knight. Music's kind of cool. This said die it. horribly. Yes. I'm going to die horribly. I'm going to die horribly. Huh, son? Uh, how you doing? Uh, welcome to die horribly. I'm fucked. I hope my roll's good. Yeah, my roll's kind of good. Whoa, shit. Maybe I should have slowed my roll. Fuck. Whew. Estes. Don't die. So I have beaten this guy before. He's a son of a bitch. He gets down to half point and changes his attacks. He gets down to... Oh, shit. Um, oof. One third. And you are fucked. You also notice I actually have a stamina bar, but jumping takes stamina. So it really is side-scrolling flat-out souls. God, I went through this with a shield last time. I miss it. Fuck you! Oh, you sack of sodden night shit. That was cheap. Horse fucker. So guess what? He has my soul. And I'm dead. Because it's a souls game. So this, so this is a, this is a basically a side scrolling Dark Souls. If you guys didn't, <laughs> yeah, you guys might that. not have picked up on that yet. Like that's kind of what they're going for. It's a little subtle, but I do like the idea that you're kind of on this deserted island. Um, I like the name Salt and Sanctuary. It's a cool name for something. It actually, sounds like a good album name for a heavy metal band or something to me. But whatever. So I'm gonna take one more try at this guy and see how that works out. Hopefully, I can actually do some damage. I do recommend leveling up before you take him. Oh, shit. Should know better. Wow, I didn't realize how much I relied upon the shield the first time around. You almost need one for this guy. Now I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, poor showing, but uh, that's the whole point of it. This guy is very tough, but I wanted to show you there. You can see why I'm trying to roll around him and really can't. This is where the side-scrolling thing actually makes it more difficult. That guy kind of wouldn't be shit in regular Dark Souls, Demon Souls, because you could just roll around him, three-dimensional movement, sneak behind him, maybe get behind him. Here, you're kind of always fucked on a very, very tight tower-top terrain to fight him. It took me more times than I would like to say earlier today to beat his ass. Um, I was also doing it with a shield, which I realized was much more useful. But hey, you know, if you want to go at the game with a frying pan... I recommend it. Uh, anyway, this... Uh, Pepper and Refuge. <laughs> Pepper and Refuge! <laughs> As battle cries go. Anyway, so thank you, Katie. I just kind of want to show off. I mean, I think it's cool. There's a lot of good uh, path opening systems in it where you kind of keep going through. Uh, one last thing. The leveling up, the way it works, I won't show you because I don't have enough level to do, but the way it works is off a skill tree. So you level up, you get a black pearl. Yeah, makes sense. A nice little nautical theme. Every black pearl can be spent on the skill tree. And the skill tree is sort of a hybrid between, I want to see the sphere grid of Final Fantasy X and the license board of Final Fantasy XII. Far less obnoxious than the sphere grid of Final Fantasy X closer to, in terms of usability, to the license board. I think it was called the license board. But anyway, uh, I do recommend checking it out. It's a lot of fun. I don't think it's a terribly long game. It's sort of like mini Souls, in a way. But if you do, let us know what you think. Uh, I'm going to be playing it more for funsies. Katie's going to be angry at me while I play it more for funsies. So we might report about that later in the vlog. Anyway, so that's Salt and Sanctuary. Thanks for checking it out. And uh, we'll see you next time.